On KJR, I'm Gary Lockwood, your suave, sophisticated intellectual, handsome, generous kind, and real macho. Early morning staff announcer, it's 708. Gary Lockwood's world-famous police blotter. Coming up next, it's a quarter after seven. the city. Seattle, Washington. I work here. I'm a jock. Thursday, December 3rd, my partner and I were working the morning shift. My partner's investigator, B.R. Bunko Bradbury. My name's Captain Lockjock, the supreme commander of the forces against evil everywhere. The... <laughs> The centerpiece of a better America. Mm-hmm. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Where, wherever I go in the great Northwest, people ask me, they say, Captain Lockjack, what do you plan to do with all the money you win in Reno this weekend? Oh, well, give it to charity, <laughs> of course. <laughs> well, first, uh, sell you some land in the Yukon. Yeah. Uh, if the IRS is listening, I'd like to say, you guys, uh, you know that I report all my winnings. Yeah. Uh, if you'll check my returns for 1956, you'll see all my winnings. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Six dollars. Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh, did you pay tax on that? I took the money and bought some land in the Yukon. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. If you're an individual who never cheats on your taxes, you're a perfect candidate for the elite police plotter force. Yep. You're also a perfect candidate for a major state mental institution. <laughs> <laughs> send, <laughs> send your stories to the real macho Cap Lockjock here at the KJR Station House, P.O. Box 3726, Seattle Wa 98124. We we'll use your story. Hey, hey, you're in. Oh, yeah. You'll get Lawman Jeans from Mr. Rags, mm-hmm. the Police Butter T-shirt from Gallery T-shirts, yep. plus the coveted Crime Fighters kit. Yeah. You'll become a respected member of this community. Just like us. And now, <laughs> oh, oh. another one of the... Greatest crimes of the century. One year ago, today, Snohomish County Police were investigating... An assault with a deadly chicken. What? <laughs> with a deadly chicken? Yeah. Huh? Uh, <laughs> the incident occurred when an Arlington man got a ride home from a tavern with three other men and a woman. Uh-huh. After the group got to the man's mobile home, <laughs> he invited them all in for a nightcap. Uh-huh. But that's when an argument flared up between the man and one of his guests. Oh, According to the police report, the man refused to give the woman a drink uh-huh. <laughs> because she was ugly. <laughs> <laughs> We've had that problem ourselves at times. <laughs> and he began pulling her hair. Oh, no. Yeah. Mm. At which point the woman became indignant and irate. Yeah. She didn't need this. Mm-mm. So she ran outside the trailer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> grabbed two of the man's chickens, <laughs> yeah. which were running around, uh, and then rushed back indoors yeah. and began beating the man over the head with the live chickens. <laughs> 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 I mean, oh. with a cluck cluck here and a cluck cluck there, <laughs> the hits just kept on coming. Oh, 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 <laughs> well, uh-huh. by the time the police arrived, the chicken-wielding woman and the three men were gone. The poor chickens were lying on the ground outside, yeah. and deputies found the man inside fuming. Yeah, I'll bet. He said he was mad because his chickens were dead, and because his other guests hadn't saved him from the wrath of the woman. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, 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 uh, <laughs> <laughs> Assault with a deadly oh, chicken. Oh, uh, during questioning later, the bystanders oh. said they'd refuse to interfere in the feather-flying melee <laughs> because the Arlington man got what was coming to him. <laughs> oh, 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 that's funny. Uh, you you got to admit, Bunko, this uh, guy certainly has a way with women. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh.
Oh, 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 I think I hurt myself. <laughs> I saw it with a deadly chicken. Jeez. <laughs> when you have a pillow fight, you're supposed to put the feathers in a pillow. <laughs> you're supposed to take them off the chicken first, yeah. <laughs> Here's a strange case followed by Agent Eric, who's on special assignment in Linwood. Mm -hmm. um, got uh, another animal story here, Bunko. Oh, good. Uh, a Seattle man has been arrested <laughs> for... <laughs> oh, oh it's going to be one of the days. A Seattle man has been arrested for... <laughs> for what? Showering with cats. <laughs> what? Showering with cats? <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> no. Cats don't like water. <laughs> uh, listen to this. Yes, they do. <laughs> oh? <laughs> A 28-year-old man was booked in the King County Jail Sunday <laughs> after police arrested him at a university district apartment building. Uh -huh. A building residents who share a shower had complained because the man was using the shower regularly and didn't live in the building. <laughs> Swell. <laughs> they called police when the man wouldn't leave the bathroom. Uh, the man finally opened the bathroom to officers, telling them he was given permission to shower there by three different people. Uh -huh. uh, the man also told police he uses... <laughs> He uses the facilities to shower with his cats. <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> sure enough, uh, <laughs> officers found two cats tied to a suitcase <laughs> in the bathroom. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Whoa! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, tied to a suitcase, huh? <laughs> this guy is probably one of our listeners, and he was getting ready to go to Reno with us. I just wanted to clean up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Help. Yeah, getting ready to go to Reno. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> and with a meow meow here. <laughs> And meow meow there. Uh, that's about all the time we have. <laughs> oh, 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 for today. Oh, chickens and cats, suitcases. Listen, buddy, if you're taking them cats along, you got to pay for them. <laughs> <laughs> no free passage for animals unless it's Darlene. <laughs> I'm Gary Lockwood's world figure. <laughs> Bully's <laughs> blotter.